President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un will meet in just a few hours. Here's what to watch for and when, according to the White House schedule. 8 p.m. ET June 11, 8 a.m. Singapore June 12, President Trump departs Shangri-La Hotel en route to Capella, Singapore, where the two leaders will meet. 8.20 p.m. ET June 11, 820 a.m. Singapore June 12, Trump arrives at Capella, Singapore. 9 p.m. ET June 11, 9 a.m. Singapore June 12, President Trump and Kim Jong un greet each other. This is the big moment. Cameras will be there to capture their expected handshake. 915 p.m. ET June 11, 915 a.m. Singapore June 12, President Trump and Kim Jong un participate in a one on one bilateral meeting. 10 p.m. ET June 11, 10 a.m. Singapore June 12, President Trump and Kim Jong un participate in an expanded bilateral meeting. 1130 p.m. ET June 11, 1130 a.m. Singapore June 12 President Trump and Kim Jong Un have a working lunch. 4 a.m. ET June 12 4 p.m. Singapore President Trump is expected to speak with reporters. 0. 0.630 a.m. ET 630 p.m. Singapore President Trump departs Capella Singapore for Pilabar Air Base Singapore. 7 a.m. ET 7 p.m. Singapore Trump departs Pilabar Air Base, Singapore, en route to Anderson Air Force Base Guam. From there, he will travel on to the United States. Before he left for his summit with North Korea's Kim Jong un in Singapore, President Trump attended another high profile meeting the G7 in Canada. This summit, which is a gathering of leaders from seven allied countries, is usually a meeting among friends. But not what quite happened. As CNN's Chris Saliza put it, whatever happens in Singapore over the next day or two, it's uniquely possible, and maybe even likely, that what Trump did in Quebec on Friday and Saturday will matter more in the country's long term geopolitical future, and not in a good way. Here's what happened, all before landing in Singapore Friday morning before Trump even left for the meeting. He floated the possibility of Russia rejoining the G7. Saturday morning, Trump arrived late for a gathering of G7 leaders focused on gender diversity. They started the meeting without him. Later that day, Trump held a news conference before he left Quebec. He described the meeting as a 10 out of 10 and insisted he had very close personal relationships with, among others, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. While on Air Force One Trump, who had apparently watched this Trudeau press conference, tweeted an attack on the Canadian Prime Minister. North Korea's leader, who is staying at the St. Regis, is on the move in Singapore. Kim went to Marina Bay Sands, a popular hotel in the city. CNN's Caitlin Collins reported that there were cheers when he walked into the hotel. He meets with President Trump in less than 12 hours. Singapore's Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan tweeted a photo with Kim Jong un on an apparent tour of the city. The tweet shows Balakrishnan and Kim Jong un smiling at the camera and reads hashtag Jalan Jalan hashtag guess where? Jalan Jalan means taking a walk in Malay. Just a few hours ago, the foreign minister also tweeted a photo showing Trump, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Chief of Staff John Kelly celebrating Trump's birthday, which is on June 14. President Trump called Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Monday for both leaders to be on the same page ahead of the North Korea-US summit on Tuesday. I think Japan and the US along with South Korea are in complete agreement over the basic policy on North Korea, Abe told reporters on Monday. Abe added that he hoped Tuesday's summit will be a historic meeting and it will be the first step toward peace and stability in Northeast Asia. He also said Trump had renewed his pledge to bring up the issue of the abduction of Japanese citizens to North Korea. President Trump's meeting with North Korea's Kim Jong-un was first announced in March. Since then, it has been abruptly cancelled, and just has abruptly put back on the calendar. Here's a look at how the summit came to be May 10. Trump announces that the meeting is set for June 12 in Singapore, tweeting, We will both try to make it a very special moment for world peace. May 24 Trump says he will not meet Kim, releasing a letter he sent the North Korean leader. 
In the letter, Trump warned North Korea that the U.S. military is ready to act should Pyongyang take any foolish and reckless action. May 21st.